Boom! Good morning, everyone. Renzo's back. I have great news. What is the great news, Renzo? I'm gonna show you right now. I got my car back! Ah! Look at her. She is fixed. She looks good. I am excited. But I kind of don't like my car anymore because it's too damn low. Like, I got used to driving my mom's car. My mom's car is stock height. It's higher than stock height, to be honest. But I get used to driving that around, you know. Because in my car, I have to be careful, like driving around, make sure I don't hit no potholes and so on, so on. This car, not really. So I, I'm not used to it. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm not used to my car anymore, but I kind of don't like it anymore. I kind of want to trade in my car for a different car, but we'll see. But I'm going to talk to you guys later because I'm late for work. I don't want my dad to kick my ass. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, everyone. So we just made it to my job. I'm supposed to be here by 830 and it's currently 845. Bad boy, Rento. Bad boy. But it's okay. My dad ain't gonna say nothing to me when I know why, cause I run him. LOL, LOL, JK, JK. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't hate my car. It's just, you know, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to talk with stuff about you. You know I didn't mean to. Come on, come on. I guess I'm just not used to it. I can lift it up a little bit, but you know, it's not gonna look right with these wheels and it's kind of high. Unless I get these wheel spacers, what it does is gonna pop my wheels out and then it'll look better. So I might have to lift it up probably like an inch on the front and the back. But when I go get some lunch, that's when I'll talk to you guys. Because we're going to do something today that i never shown on the channel that I really don't do. I've been practicing it. But today's the day that you'll see it. All right, once it's been like three hours later, right now I'm going to get some lunch. But what am I going to get, Renzo? What are you going to get? Well, there's usually three things I get. Subway, Panda, or Chipotle. But which one am I going to go to? Hmm. If you have guessed Pan Express, then you are correct, my friend. I know you're probably like, Renzo, that's all you eat is Pan Express or Chipotle or Subway. I'm tired of seeing it. Well, guys, this is what I love to eat, okay? So back off. <laughs> I'm just LOLing, okay? If you like to LOL, then you're going to have to work on that because I like to LOL a lot. But anyways, I'm going to leave my camera in here because I'm going to get something for me and for Brandon. And I just don't feel like holding a bunch of things. And plus, you've already seen the inside of it like so many times. And right now, it's currently 11.33. I'm eating lunch very early. Why? I'll let you know why when I get back in the car. All right, everyone, so we are back in the car now, as you can see. All right, the reason why I'm getting lunch early right now is because my dad is gonna let me, it's gonna let me and Brennan off work around one o'clock because I'm gonna go visit my grandma. She just came from Peru. She came to visit for about a month, I think, and today's her birthday. So my dad wants us to leave early so that way we can go visit her so we can go visit her for at least an hour. And then from there, I'm gonna go to Wolfgang's because you know that's the only gym that allows me to record. And Wolfgang's they close at four o'clock. I don't know why they close so early on a Saturday. But so I told my dad, I was like, all right, let me off at one. I'll go visit my grandma to like well by the time I get over there, it'll be like 1.30. I'll visit her until like 2.45. And good thing from their place is that it's only like five minutes, 10 minutes away from Wolfgang. So I should get there like around three o'clock. And you know, obviously they're not gonna kick me out because I'm already there. So it's not gonna be a lot of people at all. It's pretty much gonna be empty. So this is great for me. I can't wait to record later on and you see what's gonna happen. I'm so excited for this. All right, so I got something different today. I got white rice. Well, I got half white rice, half chow mein. I got teriyaki chicken. And I've been getting this sweet fried chicken lately. So I'm going to enjoy this. And I'll see you when I'm on my way to the gym. Holy biscuits, everyone. You wanna know what I just realized? I sound just like The Weeknd. Just like him. I don't know if you can see that, but it currently says 125. Just got to my aunt's house so I can see my grandma, like I said. I feel like I've been talking so much in this video. It's because I'm not really doing too much. The main thing that I'm trying to record is in the gym, and then that's where the fun will happen. All right, five, four more fans. So we just got to the gym. But I wanna give a quick shout out to this dude named Nathan. He actually just Skyped me. I was watching Christian's video this morning and you know how we go down the video, there's like a lot of videos that recommends you to watch. So I saw someone put, I accept Christian's 90 day challenge cause you know, he's doing summer shredding. 
and there's this YouTuber, his name is Mike Diamond, and I watched his video, and it's really good, really good, he's really inspiring, so I subscribed to him, and then he was like, if anyone's looking to get a banner, check out this dude, and his name is Nathan, so I've been emailing him, and he sent it to me, he did such an amazing job, really good price too, really, really good price, if you see it on my channel, you will love it, he did an amazing job, shout out to you Nathan, thank you so much for doing the banner, I really loved it. I'm gonna put his link down in the description box so that way you guys can go message him if you're looking to get a banner as well. All right, fam, so we are now in the gym. Now, today I'm gonna be doing conventional deadlifts. Not sumos, since I can't really do sumos right now. So I'm doing conventional deadlifts. I just started doing this like three weeks ago. I've been practicing it because I don't do it at all. So I've been like practicing on my form and everything. So if you see my form is like kinda fucked up or whatever, give me a break, I just started doing this. So today we're gonna do heavy singles. I wanna make a series about this because because last year when I did sumo deadlifts, my max was 350. And I was like, you know, next year I want to hit four or five, but I can't do that right now. So I was like, I want to improve on my conventional deadlifts. I don't know where I'm at in this at all. Cause like I said, never done it before, did my research. So I want to make a series about this. So we're going to try to go up to 285 pounds. I'm going to see if I can do 315, maybe 300. Cause I don't know where I'm at. So we'll see what happens. So I really hope you enjoy this. It's time to get strong. I know you're probably looking at me like Renzo, 285 is nothing. I get it, I get it, it's nothing. But that's why my channel, I'm gonna prove to you that I'm strong. I'm gonna prove to you that I can get that physique. Right now, I'm warming up, I'm 135. I already did three sets, five reps. So I'm gonna jump up to 185, and then from there, we just keep adding on the weight until we get 285. Oh yeah, I forgot my van, so I'm going barefooted today, so that way I can have better balance. Now we're gonna bump it up to 225. We're gonna aim for like two to three reps. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little sloppy, so we're gonna do it again. <sighs> All right, so that one was way, way, way better, but we're gonna jump up to 255. Get your mind right. Just need one. <laughs> okay, so that was a little bit hard because I was reviewing the clip. It looked easier on the video than it was when I was actually doing it, but I think I'm just gonna stick with 285. Definitely not going up, but I don't wanna go down either. I think I can get it for six sets, but I'm gonna take like a three minute break, then I'll go at it again. Like I said, I know my form isn't the cleanest, so don't judge me for that. 
Come on, Renzo. Come on. So last week when I was doing this at AMFAM, I only could do 275 because over there the bars are thicker. You can't use chalk. That's what I hate about commercial gyms. Too many rules, but here, the bar's thinner. You can use chalk. I have better grip. So far this is an amazing workout. I got it again. I think this set was better than the first set. That was my second set. Another three minutes, and we'll go on to my third. I'm gonna show every set, do everything raw, with no music and everything like that. Okay, so that one was harder. I think it's because I didn't explode. Like, I took a deep breath, and as soon as I got down, I took like a good five seconds, then I exploded. Next one, I'm just gonna just go at it. Because I was kind of scared, to be honest. You can pull this. You can do it. Ah. Woo. Keep it up. Keep it up. Ah. So the fist set went really, really good. You might think I'm crazy for this, but I'm gonna go to 300 pounds. I need to challenge myself. You know, I know 285 looks kind of tough for me, but I just, I'm trying to get big, you know, I'm trying to get strong. I gotta challenge myself, you know? I don't wanna keep lifting up the same weight for months. Like, I need to progress, and I will. I wanna at least be in the 300 club, and this is my chance. I'm gonna pull it, get my mind right, just get amped up, and you'll see. So I'm a little pissed because I forgot to press record and I did pull that 300 pounds. Wow, I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> you know what, just for that, I'm gonna go to 305 pounds for you guys just because I didn't get the clip of me doing 300. So we're gonna try 305 and we're gonna get it. All right, so Brian just came up to me. He was like, did the 300 feel easy? I was like, it was like an RPE 7. So he was like, I think you get the 315. Hmm, should I do it? Should I? You know what, fuck it. We're gonna do 350 pounds. I already put up the 305, but let's do 315. I'm going crazy today. Come on, Ritz. Come on. You can pull this. Come on. One, two, I am so happy right now. I got 315 pounds for a single. When I did it, I felt like I could have done it in all my sets. You know, because it shot up pretty quick. I reviewed the clip and it looked easy. When I did it, it felt easy too. When I was doing 285, it felt kind of hard. That's why I stuck with it. Because before when I went to the gym, I was like, can I do 315? But I was like, you know what? I don't know because I just started doing conventional deadlifts. I was like, I'm not really good at it. I'm not sure where my strength is at. You know, when I went up to 300 pounds, which I forgot to record, which was so stupid about, it felt easy. And when I told you guys, I was like, since I record, I'm going to 305. But when I was about to do it, Brandon came up to me. He was like, I believe you can do 315, Renzo. Do it. And he motivated me to do it, and I fucking did it. Thank you, Brandon, for pushing me. Because I felt like if he didn't tell me to do it, I wouldn't have done it. But I'm just so happy right now, guys. Next week, I'm going to do doubles, and then from there, I'll do triples, and then I'll do like a 5x5, five five, you know, so that way I can start progressing in my lifts. You know, I want to get stronger at this. But right now, I'm going to go get a haircut, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you did enjoy it. I really hope I did motivate you to challenge yourself as well. If you feel like you can go heavier, then fucking do it. Challenge yourself. Get your mind right. Sometimes I like to train with rage. I know some people like don't do that because sometimes you can like, you're not focusing on it. But to me, that's how I do it from time to time. When I'm about to lift something heavy, I always think in my head, I'm like, all the people who made fun of me, all the people say I couldn't do this, call me fat. You know, when that dude made fun of me and stuff, I have that in my head and then I fucking pull it. You know, I believe in myself and I hope you think the same way. So if you feel like you can go heavy, do it. And you will pull it. Trust me. But like I said, I really hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for always supporting me. And I'll see you next time.